the cravat of the eye is used to hold the dressing over the eye. Two cravats are required. First, lay center of first cravat over the top of head with the front end falling over an injured eye. Next, bring second cravat around head, over eyes, and over loose ends of first cravat. Then, tie in front of the uninjured eye. Lastly, bring ends of first cravat back over top of head, tying there and pulling second cravat up and away from an injured eye. Cravat of jaw is used to hold dressing on the chin, cheeks, and scalp as a temporary support to immobilize a fractured or dislocated jaw. After making a triangular bandage into a cravat of proper width, place it under the chin and carry ends apart with one end longer than the other. Next, bring longer end over top of head. Cross both ends on side of head. End should now be of equal length. Lastly, pass ends around head in opposite directions and tie with square knot on other side of head on primary turn of cravat. Cravat of palm of hand. This bandage is used to hold dressing on the palm of the hand. First, lay center of cravat over center of palm of hand with ends hanging down each side. Next, bring the thumb end across back of hand over palm and through hollow between thumb and palm. Now, bring the other end across back of hand toward base of thumb and obliquely across palm to base of little finger. Next, Cross both ends at back of hand. Continue procedure, ends crossing first at back of hand, and then over back. Lastly, tie in a square knot at wrist. Cravat of leg. This bandage is used to hold dressing on the leg. First, lay center of cravat over dressing. Next, begin ascending turns with upper end and descending turns with lower end. With covering two thirds of preceding turn until dressing is covered. Lastly, 
terminate by tying both ends in square knot. Triangle of hand. The triangle of hand is used to hold dressing of considerable size on the hand. First, place the middle of base of triangle well up on Pilmar's surface of wrist. Next, carry apex around ends of fingers. Cover back of hand to wrist and tuck excess fullness of bandage into small pleats on each side of hand. Lastly, tie and square knot. And tuck in the excess apex over the crossed ends. Triangle of foot. The triangle of the foot is used to hold dressings of considerable size on the foot. First, center foot upon bandage at right angles to base, with heel well forward of base. Next, carry apex of triangle over toes to angle and tuck the excess fullness of bandage into small plates on each side of foot. Now, cross each half of bandage toward opposite side of ankle. Then, bring ends of triangle around ankle. And lastly, tie ends in square knot either in the ankle or in front. 